That was the mark from my chemotherapy port. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the day it come out. Now, um, for those of you who may not be familiar with um, the cancer battle in any warrior's life, uh, the two most pivotal moments in any warrior's battle, other than the battle, of course, is the day that treatment starts, which is when they access your port, to the end where they remove the port when treatment ends. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the day that my port was removed. So um, it was in East Lansing, of course, and they had given me a sedative. My mother, and I think my dad was there, I don't recall how my mom said this, but I, I, she was there anyway. She was sitting in the lobby, and they had given me a sedative because they typically will, will give sedatives just to remove the port. You know, you'll be asleep during the, the procedure. Uh, so I wasn't responding to the sedative. And we waited and waited and waited. Eventually someone came out and they said, um, Mrs. Fuller, we're sorry. Uh, Jared is not responding to the sedative. So now what we must do, because there are other children waiting to be seen, we have no choice but to pull it without the sedative. Talk about screaming bloody murder. Um, my mother was hanging her head and she had her hand over her eyes and she was bawling. And uh, one of the other staff members had come out and uh, they gave my mother a hug and they said, we are so sorry, Mrs. Fuller. We're not trying to hurt your baby. But they did what they had to do, and um, but he's going to be okay. You know, he's going to heal from this. He's going to be fine. We had no choice but to pull it. So um, that's my story about uh, the port removal when the treatment ended.